In this video, we're going to take a look at batch calculating toolpaths. On its own, it's not very exciting, but when you combine it with toolpath templates, then it becomes a really, really useful tool. So in this first video, we're going to take a look at batch calculating. And then in the next video, we're going to take a look at toolpath templates and we'll be using batch calculation within that. So here you can see that I've just created a basic sort of plaque. So let's create a VBit carving toolpath and I'm going to do it over the text. Select a tool. Let's use a 90 degree VBit. Click refresh. It tells me how deep it's going to go. And then let's define the material. Let's say that this is it's like three quarters of an inch thick. Select OK. And then rather than calculate now, I'm going to calculate later. OK, and you've got the toolpath there. When you have a toolpath that's in red, that means that it hasn't been calculated yet. OK. Let's do maybe a profile on this. But I'm going to use the same V bit for this. So go to the 90 degree V bit. And I'm just going to do this a finished depth of, let's say, 0.1. And make sure that I go along the profile because I want it to follow this and just put a little groove in there. Okay. And then again, calculate later. So it's created a profile, but it's not being calculated. Now, this is quite useful if you're doing, say, 3D machining, and it's going to take quite a while to machine it, okay? So you can calculate it later and then just batch calculate all of the toolpaths in one go. And then finally, I'm just going to cut the part out. So go to toolpaths. Let's go on the outside. Finish depth, 0.75. Profiling tool. Let's use, let's say, a quarter of an inch. And then let's select Calculate Later again. So you can see that I've got these three toolpaths. Now, none of them have been calculated. So if you import any toolpaths into the program, this is what they will look like. They will be all in red and not calculated. So if we go to Toolpaths now, and then under the calculator here, you've got batch calculate toolpaths. So if I select that, you can see the toolpaths at the top available for calculation and they're all in red and they're all ticked. Okay, so select all or select which ones that you want to calculate and then select start. And then this will automatically calculate all of those toolpaths for you. It will give you the status of all of this. If for any reason that it doesn't calculate, it will say failed rather than done. Okay, and then select close. And then if I right click, simulate all toolpaths, you can see that I've simulated the toolpaths. Now, one thing that you may notice is if I zoom in on the text, Let's say this bob. See how blocky it looks, how sort of choppy. It doesn't look smooth. So I'm going to give you a little tip how to sort this out if you ever have this sort of problem. If I delete the simulation, now if I turn on my vectors, and let's take a plan view of this and take a look at the bob text. So here you can see that... The center line, which is the V-bit carving, it looks quite blocky. It looks as though it's just going to points and it doesn't look smooth. Now, the reason for this is because I was messing around with the software earlier, testing something out, and I forgot to change this setting back to the default value. So if I take a look at the V-bit carving, under tolerance, I've got it set to be 20 feet. Now, by default, this is set to be just one foot. So this affects how the cut is going to come out. So if I were to set that at something quite large, let's say one 
0.1 inch and calculate that, you can see that it becomes really, really bad. Okay, so if ever you have these type of results, it's because you've changed the tolerance. Okay, so let's set that back to the default value, which is one thing, and calculate it. And you can see that it goes back to being nice. So now, if I try to simulate that again, it will give me a much better quality simulation. Okay, so that's how to use the batch calculate toolpaths.